Hello Shelby County families, it's early Friday afternoon. We're getting ready to start the afternoon bus run. You can hear the buses running here at the bus garage. Um, by the time you watch this, we will have completed over 20,000 miles of, of driving already this week in just three days towards the 1.2 plus million miles that we will drive in the course of the school year. The first thing I want to say is thank you for the feedback you've given us for the phone calls and uh, especially for the emails and phone calls. We um, also appreciate the fact that you've shared messages with us on social media, but we also want you to know that the best way to communicate with us and uh, really get, get us uh, in conversation will be through the phone. And so call us at the bus garage. That phone number is 633-4671. We also uh, want, want to thank you for the advertising you've done. The recruiting you've done has been great, and uh, as a result of that recruiting, we have employed two more drivers already since school started, and we had five more interviews today. So we think we'll have uh, maybe five or six new drivers in training, maybe more, and uh, we'd love to have a dozen more. So keep recruiting. Thank you so much for the work you're doing to recruit. Um, some of you have asked for what our questions are, what the, what the things we are trying to uh, address are as we're able to add drivers. And so really there are two issues where we will work on. I want to share those with you. The first one will be safety and the second one is distance from the, from the stop. So the distance kids walk. So we want you to know that uh, with regard to safety, um, we're looking at things like uh, the speed limit on the road and how much sight distance there is, what side of the road students are being able to board the bus on. So all of those sorts of things will come into effect. So we're addressing safety issues first, and then the second issue we will address will be distance issues. So how far kids might walk to the bus stop. We'd like to get those walks under a half a mile if we can. Uh, that, that would be our target that we're working towards. Again, when you have concerns about any of those things, please call the bus garage directly at 633-4671. Feel free to email me as well, but direct your uh, first call to the bus garage. That gets you a faster response. I also want to remind you of a tool that's online if you have questions about our bus routes and, uh, and, and, and want initial information. You can go to our website and look at Info Finder. You can see that on the screen now and click on Info Finder. But remember that that's general information about where buses run and, and approximate times. So for specific detailed information about your particular stop or if you feel like you should have a particular stop by your house, then please call the bus garage. And I want to make sure that you all see this smiling face on the screen. This is Ginger Carroll. She's the one that often answers the phone at the garage. Uh, we're thrilled and fortunate to have Ginger on our team, so feel free to ask specifically for Ginger when you call the bus garage. I hope you have a great weekend. We look forward to another great week of school next week.